author, artist, and activist. Eve Ensler is outspoken and impulsive, and she fights for her vision of feminism. You, you believe in the power that women have in them and the power that women can generate if they are equal, if they are cherished, if they aren't hurt and uncut and unviolated and unraped. What would women be? This is Washington Square Park in New York City. Demonstrations have been taking place here ever since U.S. President Donald Trump took power. Whenever she can, Eve Ensler joins in. Trump. Just all these people here. It's and just that she it, wasn't a you know, the fact that the resistance I, is growing and growing and growing and, and, and it's going to get fiercer and deeper and more connected as we go. And eventually we're going to have a massive uprising in this country against this regime. I believe it. An uncompromising radical, she rejects everything that Donald Trump stands for. For decades, The New Yorker has been campaigning for equal rights for women, whether in America, India, or Congo. She rose to fame with The Vagina Monologues, a theater piece about women and their experiences with sex, relationships, and violence. She herself suffered violence and sexual abuse as a child, yet she says the anger she felt for her father made her stronger. I bless my rage because that rage kept me from killing myself. You know, I, I, I became suicidal later on, but at the time of my childhood, I just was defiant. I did everything the opposite if he told me to do. Told me not to go out, I went out. Told me not to smoke pot, I smoked pot. Told me not to, everything he did. But you know what? That kept me alive. Now she draws her strength from her friends, Tony Montanieri and Susan Swan. They are her family and the three work closely together. In 1998, Ensler founded the women's organization V-Day. Active worldwide, V-Day supports artists and social activists, raises money and finances women's shelters. She also helped establish City of Joy, a community for survivors of gender violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This evening, she's on her way to a women's film festival where she'll be receiving an award. She stops for photographs on the red carpet with her stepson, actor Dylan McDermott. They're very close. One of the most important things in life, obviously, is your character. And Eve's character is so true and so, so gold, if you will. Um, and what she's done for women around the planet is will go down in history, I believe. I mean, she's, she's a radical. Eve Ensler is the evening's guest of honor. She's a role model for many of the women in the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Eve Ensler. Eve Ensler enjoys her applause, but she's never seen herself as a celebrity. So much of my life has been about being on the front lines, struggling in the arts, where I had to struggle every day of my life in the tiniest little theaters at the beginning of my career, to little holes in the middle of nowhere, to little towns. And, and same with my activism, you know, I've been doing direct action, I've been doing organizing for 40 years. Her most ambitious project is One Billion Rising. Every year on February 14th, people across the globe come together to dance in defiance of the injustices women suffer. Dance as protest. The campaign has supporters all over the world, from New York to Berlin to Delhi. Music, dance, song, hip hop, poetry, spoken word, theater. We need to make art. We need to make love. Art brings us into our bodies. It catalyzes sexual energy, and we all need to have a lot of sex. That's the sort of message her fans and supporters love her for. Oh, the pain may be hard, 
but we'll claim it is ours. The continued violence against women makes her furious. But Eve Ensler doesn't despair. She will carry on her fight. Giving up simply isn't an option. Yeah.